Hello, today I'm going to show you a good way and a tip. How can you see and track your costs combined with a gun chart view? So you basically, we all know that projects are done because of most of the time, of course, for the profit. And we want to control our costs. So let me show you, but when at the same time, we want to see our tasks, so we don't want to jump, for example, for, uh, to cost tables and just to see a cost, but we should uh, have some, we want some combined view. For this purpose, I created very simple project with three tasks, you can see, very simple. And in resource sheet, I have John, which standard rate is 100 euros and Mary 200 euros. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I will use, I will save a baseline, first of all. So I want to see when I track a project, how am I, how, how am I progressing according to time, but also according to costs. So first of all, I will go here to view and I will say details and I will get task form. Now, this is default what opens when you choose task form here. And I will right click here and I will say costs. So when I go to task one, I can see that for task one, cost is 800. Okay, baseline cost is 800 and actual cost is zero and remaining cost is 800. If I go to task two, I will see that for Mary, 3,200, etc., etc., and for task three, I will see specific cost for Jordan Mary. Yeah, but you can say, okay, this is great, but how can I want to see on the same time the total cost for the the, the whole task? And this is obviously simple here because John is the only assignee, so basically those costs here are the total cost. But here for John and Mary, and let's say that you have Peter and Paula and whoever you can, or have some material costs, you can, you, uh, uh, you don't see total costs for, let, let's, let us add some material costs. Let's say bricks. Okay. And let's say it is material. And let's say it costs 10,000 per, per piece. Okay. Now I can go here and I can say bricks and I will say 100 pieces. Okay. Now to see the whole cost, I should say, okay, cost is 2,400 plus 4,800. This is 7,200 7, and 100 is 8,200, which is not so convenient. But I want to see it for baseline, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Let's say that task task three. It doesn't make a sense that task three is fifty four percent done uh, before uh, task one and task two. But just for the uh, for the example purpose, you can see here. And of course, I should see. Uh, I I should say how many bricks did I. Uh, did I spend, and I will say, okay, here I spent, let's say, tracking uh, actual actual bricks, let's say, 50. Okay. And, okay, cost is 500. Everything is okay. I don't he here have baseline. Why? Because I didn't save the baseline, but I'm going to do it now because nothing is late here so let me see let me override the baseline and i can see it here okay now actual cost is uh uh actual cost is uh one uh thousand to two hundred etc etc so it's a bit complicated okay but i want to see a gain chart as well so i'm going to go good again chart and i will see uh, not not task usage sorry gain chart gain chart here it is what i am going to do is and here I made a mistake, so let me undo. You should be very careful. It happens all the time when I, when you are here and when you 
choose the gain chart, for example, you will get it here. So basically, you should know where your curs cursor is. So here, gain chart, gain chart. Now I got what I wanted. I'm on task three, and I will now add columns like cost. Okay, I will say baseline. Sorry, baseline cost. Okay, I will say actual actual cost, and of course remaining remaining cost. Okay, now I can see for task three, for example, that the cost is eight thousand and two hundred. The baseline cost is eight thousand and two hundred. The actual cost is four thousand and one hundred, and the remaining cost is for four hundred. 4100 but by using the task form i can see how these those costs are di distributed per resource and that is very useful when you are analyzing your project and especially your project costs so when you do this use overall cost for the tasks here and for the project and for specific resource and for specific task, you can see it in a task form when you apply cost. Okay, view. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.